U.S. pressures China on who sees support, not Taiwan. The real reason behind Sullivan Wang meeting introduction. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin recently claimed that U.S. National Security Advisor Sullivan and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi met in Bangkok, Thailand, at the invitation of Thai Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Nikora. The two sides will exchange views on Sino-U.S. relations, Taiwan issues, etc. Wang Wenbin also claimed that. Wang Yi would make clear China's position to the United States during the meeting. However, this is not the case. The meeting between Sullivan and Wang Yi was not at the invitation of Thai Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Nikara, as claimed by the CCP, but was mutually agreed upon by the United States and China. Moreover, the main topic of this meeting is not Sino-U.S. relations in the Taiwan issue, but the Houthi armed attack on Red Sea shipping. U.S. National Security Security Council spokesman Sean David said Sullivan's meeting with Wang Yi was to discuss China's provision of weapons and funds to Iran and support for the Houthi armed forces to attack Red Sea shipping. The United States has made it clear that it will continue to pressure the CCP to immediately stop supporting Iran's houses. The CCP is foreign propaganda confuses right and wrong and covers up the truth. The remarks made by the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Communist Party of China Wen Wenbin are obviously an attempt to cover up the truth and confuse the public. Wen Wenbin claimed that Wen Yi would clarify China's position to the United States during the meeting, but did not mention the main topic of the meeting, the Houthi armed attack on Red Sea shipping. This is obviously an attempt to avoid and cover up the truth. U.S. pressures China to stop supporting Iran's houses. U.S. National Security Council spokesman Sean David made it clear that that the main topic of the meeting was the Houthi armed attack on Red Sea shipping. The United States has made it clear that it will continue to pressure the CCP and demand that it immediately stop supporting the houses in Iran. The houses are a Shiite armed force in Yemen that is supported by Iran. The Houthi armed forces have continuously attacked Red Sea shipping in recent years, seriously threatening the security of international shipping. The United States and other Western countries have repeatedly repeatedly condemned the attacks by Iran and the Houthi armed forces and demanded that Iran stop supporting the Houthi armed forces. The CCP is the backing supporter of the Houthi's armed forces. The U.S. government has repeatedly pointed out that the Chinese Communist Party is one of the main supporters of the Houthi armed forces. The CCP provides weapons and funds to Iran to help Iran support the Houthi armed forces. The CCP also helps Iran train Houthi armed personnel and provide intelligence support to the Houthi armed forces. The CCP's support for the Houthi armed forces has not only seriously harmed the interests of the Yemeni people, but also seriously threatened international shipping security and regional stability. The United States and other Western countries have repeatedly urged the CCP to stop supporting the Houthi armed forces, but the CCP has turned a deaf ear and continues to provide support to the Houthi armed forces. The U.S. military regards the CCP as its top threat. It has been very clear that the U.S. military regards the CCP as the number one threat. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has stated many times that the CCP is the biggest challenge facing the United States and the U.S. military must be prepared to deal with the threat from the CCP. The U.S. military is actively adjusting its strategy and deployment to deal with the threat. From the CCP, the U.S. military is strengthening its military power in the Asia-Pacific region and strengthening cooperation with allies and partners in the Asia-Pacific region to jointly respond to the challenges of the CCP. The United States will continue to put pressure on the CCP to safeguard its own interests in regional stability. The U.S. government and military have made it clear that they will continue to pressure the CCP to stop supporting the Iran Iranian houses, stop threatening Taiwan, and stop military expansion in the South China Sea. The United States will continue to work with allies and partners to safeguard its own interests in regional stability.